Hi, today I have another video about population genetics and today's problem going to be very easy. I believe that most of you would be able to solve this problem without any problem, but still I know that for some of you this problem uh, might be um, cause some confusion and uh, before I will uh, give you the answer I want to explain this uh, problem in every detail possible. So I want to start with the problem itself. So here is the question. In a large population of bonobos, the frequency of the recessive allele is initially 0 0.1. There is no migration and no selection. What is the frequency of the dominant allele? And assume that there are two alleles of this gene. And in order to find frequencies of the phenotypes and genotypes of the particular uh, gene pool, we use Hardy-Weinberg formula, so frequencies we can find uh, using this formula where p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals to 1 and also 1 equals to 100% and in this formula p squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype 2pq stands for the uh, frequency of the heterozygous and q squared stands for the frequency of the homozygous recessive uh, alleles. And confusion in this problem might be because the uh, question is given on one scale and the answer is given on the other scale. So question is given on this scale and answer given on this scale. So, um, how we are going to solve this problem? Uh, we also have to know that uh, all the alleles A and uh, capital A and small a, uh, that is here. So, this uh, all alleles uh, capital A plus all alleles that is small a uh, make this uh, two phenotypes. So, and uh, three genotypes. So this is one genotype, second genotype, and third genotype. So as you see, three genotypes are made by only two alleles. One is uh, dominant, another one recessive. So um, that means that all alleles P plus all alleles Q would equal to one according to this formula. And alleles P is dominant alleles and alleles Q is recessive alleles. Before we would be able to solve this problem, we have to learn how to convert numbers on one scale to the numbers on the different scale. For example, if we are told that frequency of the um, allele small a would be 0 0.16, uh, that means that uh, on the uh, scale of the percentages, this would equal to 16%. How we uh, got this number? We just uh, have to multiply uh, 0 0.16 by 100, because here 1 equals to 100. So all numbers on this scale, we have to multiply by 100 to in order to get the number on this scale. Or another way how we can do it, we just can move this comma to decimal places to the right. And this is how we would get a 16. For example, consider 0 0.25. And this would equal to 25%. Or 0 0.09 would equal to 9%. We have to move, uh, as I said, uh, this comma two decimal places to the right. And for example, 0 0.1 would equal to 10%. We have to move a comma two decimal places to the right. But there is no number here. And when we uh, move comma to the right two decimal places, we just put 0 here. So this is would be 0%. And this is the number that we are given in our problem. And this is would represent 10%. And according to this formula here, 
uh, we can find uh, p if we know q so uh, q is recessive allele so all these uh, recessive alleles in the gene pools and p stands for the all dominant alleles so now we just have to rearrange this formula so uh, p would equal 1 minus q or p would equal to 1 minus 0 0.1 and p equals to 0 0.9 and now we have to transfer this number to the uh, percentage form so we have to multiply by 100 and the answer here would be 90 percent and this answer is uh, answer D so now I think it would be um, easier for you to solve analogous problems please thumbs up if you like this video uh, subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day write your comments that's all for today goodbye